Almost five years ago, before we officially started dating, I told you that I was going to marry you. Way before it was appropriate by probably any standard. Uh, your southern draw and mispronunciation of very commonly used words like treadmill as opposed to treadmill. Um, your special quirks like cooking dinner for the cul-de-sac when it's just you and I. Uh, and most importantly, uh, the confidence and belief you instilled in me to become the man God created me to be and to chase my dreams. All these things quickly made me realize you were going to be my wife. Day, baby, come on! <laughs> Verify. Woo! Hold your breath. Is it bleeding or is it just like yellow blood? A little bit of blood. What happened, Kyle? You know, there's this videographer guy. He told me he wanted this perfect shot. I One said, last shot. I said, I'll do anything. For One more time. I'll do anything for the perfect shot. <laughs> and uh, we had some casualties. Just very heartfelt. Very heartfelt. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, we're saying for the videographer. Yeah, you wanna, when you're looking know. at it one day, let him know. Ten years down the road, it's not like one sentence, you know. I like it. I'll be here for you all the time. Is this my the one you just wrote up a few minutes ago? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Right? One of you else. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yours went onto the back. It did. It went whoa, 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 whoa! Let's get the back. Yeah, you see that? I'm also saving the signature too for later. He's the most loyal friend I have when it comes to relationships and has never put his relationship in a compromised situation or made Kayla question his love for her. He has dedicated every single day since he decided to marry Kayla shortly after they met to fighting his hardest outer and inner battles to earn her as his wife and make her feel as special as possible on this day. Kyle Ponton, I've been waiting my whole life for you. I met you over five years ago on September 12th to be exact at a time I least expected. However, I knew the day I met you in my life was about to get a lot more interesting, especially the first time I heard your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you told me I was going to be your wife, not even knowing each other a month, but following up that you loved me two weeks later. You scared me, made me question everything I knew about how a relationship is supposed to work, and yet I could not help but love you too. and prayed with people. My favorite thing she used to do is Kayla does not care the situation. She'll hear your thoughts and she'll go, should we pray? And she'll dive right in. Um, so you two do the same thing, just different ways. So for that, I'm very proud of you. Your relationship with God continues to grow. And since I've met you with Kyle and seen the, and loved you both, the love that y'all keep together and you've always kept God at your center. Oh my gosh, I like haven't seen it fitted on you and stuff yet. Oh my god, it came out so good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
remind myself that I've been praying for you since I was a little girl. I would say my prayers at night and ask God to bring me someone that loved him first and me second. Someone I could be proud to take home to my family, especially to dad and poppy. Wow. Oh, oh, from your toenails up, I love everything I'm looking at. You just it's look beautiful. You just look my, like my Kayla. <laughs> you look unbelievable. <laughs> this is perfect. It's surreal to think that nearly five years ago, we talked about getting married and today is finally the day. Our journey hasn't been perfect, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I've had issues I've never dealt with that you've helped me discover and heal through, which has led us into marriage today. Had that not happened, I really don't know if you would have made it here. <laughs> Wherever you go, wherever you've been, follow you around every bend. Follow you into the dark, throw your hair on down. My gift is to experience the Pontane and start a tradition with our family where we go to honor your dad throughout the years. All this being said, don't make any plans for March 22nd and March 30th. Because we are heading to a small village called Crawley in Scotland where your dad grew up. As a fun surprise, your aunts are expecting us and will show us exactly where the Pontane name originated from. And we'll get to see where your dad grew up and take his ashes home to scatter them across the coast of Scotland. Father, I thank you, God, for this opportunity to come. This has been not just weeks, not just months, but years. God, I thank you for the man Kyle is. I thank you for the woman Kayla is. I thank you for the rich heritage of the families that are gathered here today. God, people that were friends that have become family. God, people that have become acquaintances that are now friends that have gathered as witnesses to celebrate, but also to declare the union of this amazing company. I invite your presence here in this day and in this moment. It really, it really has been awesome to witness uh, how Kyle treats Kayla and the way that they lift each other up. I truly think that this was a match made in heaven. This is, I couldn't think of a more perfect person for her. As you know, you know, I know it's fun fact on the napkin, but this is Kayla's first boyfriend. First and last, thank God. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to say, I'll keep, I'll keep it short. I love you guys. You guys really have bettered me. And I'm so, so excited to see what God has in store for the